Good evening, hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking through letter jumps and how to customize your letters and your systems. So get ready. Alright guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to modify the letter jump um, artwork in your systems. Uh, one thing that you will notice is that the main menu uh, does not support uh, your letter jumps. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what I'm trying to uh, say here. I'm just going to go to arcades and uh, of all the letters uh, and all the systems, uh, main is my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump to that. So we're still technically on the main menu, even though we are in a nested wheel. So now we've entered the main wheel, and now if I hold down left or right, um, the letter jumps will appear. And then I can just push left or right, and you'll see all the different letters. And if you select one of those, it's going to jump to that spot in the system wheel. So that's what the letter jumps are all about, and uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, get this thing started here. So I'm going to go on back out of this. And there's one caveat to all this. Uh, the letters will only display if your system um, has at least 26 games. If it's got, you know, 20 games, the letter jump just will not appear. So just uh, keep that in mind. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get started here. So first things first. We're going to go to hyperspin uh, dot, er, slash fe.com and you're going to go to the download section where the letters are uh, held. You'll also find a lot of these on the hyperspin FTP site, but uh, this actually has a, a good selection uh, that you know rivals what's on the FTP. So uh, go ahead and start downloading those to your heart's content here. And what you're going to do is go to your media folder and for instance I've got MAME up right here hyperspin media MAME images and then letters you'll see a uh, default set of uh, artwork and what you're gonna do is just uh, override all of that so you'll just unzip the the file here and you will see uh, sometimes that the numbers um, for the artwork are not populated so you'll have the original artwork there which is totally fine that just tells you that the system uh, in general does not have uh, any games that are you know, with these numbers uh, at the beginning here so don't worry about if the pack does not uh, replace all of your letters uh, that was intended here so uh, that's all you got to do is just replace uh, your letters uh, in your image folder and you'll be done so that's really all I've got to show you here today uh, you will see that uh, you can update the main menu uh, letters if you really wanted to but ultimately hyperspin just does not support it so uh, you know it, it just won't display so the last thing that I want to show you to get these things up and running is if you go to your database folder uh, well, I'll show you first. So hyperspin database and then main. If you open up your main XML or any other system uh, XML, you're going to run into something that looks like this. And what you'll see is indexes are true and your letters. So at the beginning, uh, 005 here, your image that will display is zero. So that's the letter zero that you're going to be or number zero. Uh, that's the name that's going to associate to that at the beginning. So then also 10 yard uh, image starts with one and then everything beyond that. So anything that has this uh, uh, prefix, it's going to have the image of one. So by default, the XMLs will already support that. Uh, I don't believe you have to have that in there, but if you guys wanted to customize some of this, like if I, for whatever reason, if I wanted 10 yard uh, to have the letter 
uh, Y. I can type in Y in the image here and it would display Y for this specific game. But, you know, everything's by default. So if you get the XMLs from Hyperlist, everything will be looking smooth. But if you want to customize, that would be how you would customize the letters on a game to game basis. You can see that this next game does not have a letter associated to it. It's because it's got the prefix of one and it's going to display the one as the letter. So that is it, guys, for the letters. Uh, this one was a quick one. So uh, go ahead and get out there and customize your letters, uh, make new ones. There's essentially uh, letters for many of the systems and you'll find that, you know, I've sort of spearheaded the way on making sure that all of my systems have uh, letters. So you can see, yeah, I, I was uh, a major player in making these letters. So I hope you guys like them. Uh, please comment, share, uh, do everything that you guys are used to in this YouTube world. So uh, we'll catch you around.